Hello there. This is Uncle Troy. We're playing the Giant Ravine Challenge, and once again, we are totally stomping over the rules because we are not only up on the surface during the day, but we are building up on the surface. We're building a track back to our island so that we have a uh, have a shortcut back to our mob grinder where we can pick up unlimited arrows and bone meal from our skeleton spawner. And since this is pretty darn boring, I'll just fast forward through this. And here we are back on the island. And it looks like, uh, let's see, where did I come out at here? Looks like I'm at the, the back of the, yeah, I'm pretty much at the back of the cabin. I uh, think maybe I needed to uh, be over toward the side over here. Yeah. I, uh, Looks like I could have come out just about here. Would have been a tad more convenient. Well, we can fix that. Can you tell that I just recently figured out how to do the fast forward thing on my video editor? <laughs> okay, all well, that fast forwarding made me tired. Let's take a nap. Yeah, good nap. Okay, what to do now? I guess we need to tend our wheat farm and then get back to exploring. Uh, today, what I would really like to do is find the abandoned mine shaft. I know there's one in our. Uh, giant ravine because I've seen the video and I really want to check it out because I think a cave spider spawner is the only one that I haven't found yet in this game and while you know that's not really a victory condition I'm going to pretend it is one because there are four different types of spawners in the game uh, there's zombie, which is the most common, and then there's skeleton and spiders, which I think are the second and third most common. I think they they tie for second, and then there's a the cave spider spawner, cave spider spawner, which only occurs in the mine shafts. So I figure since I know there's a mine shaft in this canyon somewhere, excuse me giant ravine somewhere we need to uh, dig around until we can find it so I think that'll be a good project for today I almost forgot I've been collecting this uh, lapis lazuli here because I think it makes a uh, nice floor oops so as long as we're here let's uh, go ahead and put down our flooring I think like make Makes a nice pattern, almost like a carpet, I think. Okay, let's get uh, back to uh, our ravine exploration. Uh, I think uh, we still have a little more darkness to explore around where the skeleton spawner trap is, and then we will uh, we'll be ready to uh, start looking for that abandoned mine shaft. Okay, I promise not to get too addicted to that uh, fast-forward button. 
I understand it can get annoying pretty quickly. Let's see, hey. he's an owl. Alright, that was a little farther down than I thought it was. But I saw some darkness over here that we needed to light up. And I think, uh, yes, there's a skeleton. Alright, let's show off our elite's fighting skills and take out the skeleton owl. Alright, some people think wearing full armor during the challenges is kind of cheating or against, you know, well, it's not a challenge if you're wearing armor. Well, trust me, even when I'm wearing armor, it's still a challenge. Okay. I think we can get at that same darkness from this way. And there's a little iron up here. Get that. Let's see what was over here. Oh, apparently a skeleton was over here. Where? There it is. Okay. And let's see. Safe over here in the corner. Grab some more iron. And when you go through iron armor as fast as I do, you really need uh, to grab all the iron you can. Alrighty, where did that... Uh, oh. Too far away to get with the bow. I mean, not that he's too far away to get with the bow. It's that he uh, was in a bad angle, couldn't get to him with the bow. Alrighty, and I see torches down here, so we've already been in this neck of the woods. But we've got at least uh, a couple of corridors here we can still light up. And did I see something? I thought I just saw something over there. I've got a lone block of iron. To... Yes, there's a skeleton over there. Can I get him with my bow? Um, come out, come out, wherever you are. Alright, I'm basically firing blindly here. Um, I don't like, well, let's see. I like the new bow. I like being able to pull it back and really charge it up. And the whole, you know, kill a mob with two arrows thing is good. But what I don't care much for is that there's no graceful way to let off on the arrow if you, uh, hmm, just blocks just sitting around there. I think Endermen have been here. Uh, there's no graceful way just to, to release the tension on the arrow rather than, you know, shoot, shoot your foot with it or something. In multiplayer, we just, you know, shoot each other in the head. And since we have, uh, player versus player turned off PvP, the, uh, you know, basically just end up giving your buddy an arrow. Okay, a little more iron and, ooh, that's a nice dark, or a nice big drop down to lava level. Plus, I think I see a torch down there, so I've already explored down there. And hello. Can I get him? Can I get him? Ow. Like I said, the problem with these uh, bow and arrows is there's no... You have to have some lead time, I guess is what I'm saying. Where did he go? Oh, did he go down? No, there he is. Ow. Die, skeleton. Die. Okay. And once again, we're back to somewhere we've explored before. But as I was trying to say, with the new bow and arrow, you have to have a bunch of lead time. You have to know what you're going to shoot beforehand. You can't just walk around with the bow in your in your hand and you know and fire off at the first thing you see. You have to uh, say, "Oh, well, there's my target. Uh, let's get a line up the shot. Then let's pull back the bow." And well, they're not they're not quite as useful, I don't think, because used to you just pow 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 spam your uh, arrows all over the place the spray and pray method which I have preached against but apparently I use far more often than I realized since I don't have as much use for a bow as I used to believe it or not I've been through about three stacks of arrows today let's uh, mercy kill this squid poor thing alrighty let's uh I think we've lit up everything in this area and it's time to go back to the surface 
and see where we are. That looks vaguely familiar, but then underwater they all look familiar. And let's see, there's an island over there, and there's our walkway over there, so we are not too far from the skeleton spawner and an easy way back. You know, while I'm here, I better check out this island. I believe this is the island that I came up near a few episodes ago that was just swarming with creepers that I did not have a chance to explore then. That little line on the horizon is getting to me. So occasionally I do the dolphin thing and just duck under. I do hope they fix that in 1.9. I forgot to check it the last time I was in the 1.9 pre-release. I know it doesn't sound like me if you know me, but uh, I did not run out and download the pre-releases uh, when they first came out this time. I think I skipped pre-release, the 1.9 pre-release number one altogether and only downloaded the uh, pre-release number two when uh, some of my buddies wanted to uh, play together using a seed that only worked with the 1.9 pre-release two. Alright, while I'm here, I'm going to light up this here island so monsters do not spawn. It occurred to me that a uh, spawner trap, or well, not a spawner trap, a general mob grinder with a uh, big dark spawning area might work pretty good now that I've lit up much of the ravine and uh, since I'm completely surrounded by ocean. But uh, I don't really know what I'd need. The only thing I can't get from my existing uh, spawner traps would be gunpowder and I guess ender pearls. But Enderman and mob traps don't mix because Endermen like to grief them. I understand that's going to be changed in the next version. Uh, Endermen won't be damaged by water as much or if they are they will teleport out and also they're not going to grief nearly as much. Okay, I'm getting a little seasick. We'll have to uh, cut this short. Okay, I eventually made it back to my little island base here and decided I would try out these new mushrooms. Oof. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, and as I understand it, if you, uh, yeah, if you break away the cap up here, you will get more mushrooms. Let's see. Gravel Express our way to the top here. Okay. And I can see now why people are using these for instant houses. Uh, if I was out in the middle of nowhere and uh, wanted a place to uh, place a bed so the mobs couldn't get me overnight, I could uh, build one of these, whap whap, place a bed on top and uh, sleep the night away without worrying about a mob getting to me. Alright, we had we only had two mushrooms to start I think. I think we already picked up one. And now after uh, oops, see, 10, 12, let's see, I heard something fall in the water a minute ago, 13. Okay, so that got us a profit of about 12 mushrooms. Uh, let's see what the reds do. Oops, hello tree. Well, I was going to go over to that area and plant this mushroom, but I'll try it over here. Ooh. And I can see how this one can turn into an instant house. You just uh, build up the sides a little, and you've got yourself a roof, four walls. And once again, I think we have us a pretty hefty uh, profit when it comes to the amount of mushrooms. We started off with like five, and we're up to 15. So you're going to get 10 or 12 mushrooms uh, every time you uh, try this out. So pretty good. Okay, it's been over an hour since the last uh, bit of video I recorded. And I have been wandering around in this uh, in this ravine for what seems like hours, but I mean, actually, it's just an hour. I can tell by the timestamps on the files here. Uh, 
and I have pretty much made a walkway all the way around the perimeter of this ravine. And while I found some interesting things, like this little, uh, if I can get on down here, this little underwater, uh, not underwater, underground, yes, underground lake uh, that I didn't realize was down here. Let's get a little light in here. Um, I have not found the abandoned mine shaft. And uh, that strikes me as odd because I thought it was like right up close near the near where you come down at. But I figured, well, maybe I just took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. And uh, a co-worker of mine recently did go to Myrtle Beach. And I kept asking him, so did you take the, remember to take the left turn at Albuquerque? And he apparently did not understand what I was saying. So... If you're old enough to know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. Anyway, um, I've been around and around this ravine over and over. I have made about two different levels of uh, walkways above my head, as you can see. And I cannot find this uh, abandoned mine shaft. I have even taken to making little gravel pillars. Uh, around here because you can see a little further when you're uh, farther off the ground. Uh, when you're down here you've got the fog effect come up a few spaces and the fog clears quite a bit and Notch needs to work on that because uh, fog is fog and just because you're a little bit higher shouldn't mean that the lower area where the fog is at suddenly becomes more uh, visible, if that makes any sense. Okay, here is a snippet of the original video that got me interested in the Giant Ravine Challenge. And, as you can see, you spawn directly over an epic ravine, and then a spider jockey jumps from the sky and distracts you. Uh, I've yet to see an actual spider jockey in the ravine, but I'm sure there's some there. But the point is, I have attempted to recreate the, the path that this video takes through the ravine looking for the abandoned mine shaft, uh, which seems to be fairly close. Just, you know, right around a couple of corners here, you have an abandoned mine shaft. But in my world, I cannot find it. And the only thing that I can think of is either one, I'm an idiot, or two, this video was created in pre-release 1.8 and I'm using the actual released 1.81 and perhaps level generation changed between those two versions and the actual abandoned mine shaft no longer exists in 1.81 and I'm looking for something that doesn't exist so I'm begging you if you have the actual F3 coordinates of the mine shaft in the giant ravine if you can send them to me email me, post a comment, uh, response to this video, whatever you want to do, so I can check it out. I promise I won't consider it cheating. Um, we'll just, you know, it'll just be between you and me, okay? Okay, I am. I have obviously played too long today because I walked right by that skeleton, didn't even see him. Let him shoot me. If I hadn't uh, had a full hunger bar and uh, good armor, I probably would not have survived that little, uh, confrontation. Oh, but while I'm down here, I see some more lapis. Okay, we can keep building our uh, our floor with the lovely lapis lazuli um, flooring. Okay, my mouth is stopped working apparently. I just can't come up with anything to say. So I guess it's time to sign out. I will try playing again tomorrow, find some more dark areas. Uh, ow. Okay, my judgment is really off. Okay, time to swim for the surface and call it a day. Alrighty, uh, thank you. Oh, we need to greet our new subscribers. As of this moment in history, we now have 24 subscribers to this channel. Uh, some of our new additions are C. Marcus Lewis, Ed Drake, 
or possibly Ed Drack and Zuki World and something must be wrong because I think I did a pretty good job of um, pronouncing all those names now remember if you want to subscribe to my channel you have to have a name that I cannot pronounce and that I have to embarrass myself trying to stumble over uh, while I'm greeting you okay a big thank you to all the subscribers uh, really appreciate you. Thanks to everyone who has hit the like button, everyone who's left a comment. Uh, the more feedback I get, the more likely I am to make more videos. Um, oops. Apparently I cannot swim all the way to the top here. That was a little stupid. Like I said, my brain is not really working tonight. Uh, I think I'll just take uh, take the safe, safe path uh, back to base, although it occurs to me that it was a safe path where the skeleton shot me just a minute ago. Anyway, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Please have a good night.